So we've learned a whole bunch of stuff about how to select KPIs over the last 20 or 30 years of working with them. I want to show you a couple of key points that we've picked up and they're going to fit into two categories. First, everything you need to know about winning KPIs and that's slam dunk easy. In an hour, you'll know all you need to know. And then there's 11 other things that are really interesting that influence how you choose your KPIs. And I'm going to uh, walk you through those. So everything you need to know about winning KPIs. It's simple. Strategy drives everything. If you understand your organization's strategy, you can figure out where it is you should be selecting KPIs. So for example, if we used a balanced scorecard framework, there are four perspectives. Overall, in a private sector, your goal is to achieve financial success. To do that, you need to make your customers happy. To make your customers happy, you need the right internal processes. And to have those processes work, you need the right enablers, culture, competencies, uh, strategic assets. So we should be able to take your organization strategy, that documented one from your website, your brochures, and simplify and identify the core objectives. So in this case, they talk about providing reliable results. Uh, they talk about more products per customer. They're a cell phone company and a bazillion other objectives. Well, not a bazillion. Try to keep it less than 10. And so those are our core strategic objectives. And eventually we can draw a cause and effect diagram arrows between them to let you know how each objective drives towards success. Now comes a super important part. We should be able to prioritize them. These objectives are not all equally important. In fact, each year you'll be shifting the weighting to execute each new year's strategy. Now, it's a bit of a lie. These days we expect to refresh strategy about once a quarter to tweak it as the year progresses. In this case, if you take a look at any objective over 10%, that's a core theme for this year. So this uh, company is going to focus on understanding customers so that we can have better availability of our networks and make sure that the networks do everything our customers want, and that's going to drive more products per customer. Clear strategy. Now the KPI part. If we put an indicator behind each one of these objectives, red, yellow, green based on target, we should be able to produce a scorecard that looks like this. Now, the question is, which one would you focus on as a manager? Many people make the mistake of saying I2 because it's red. But the issue here is, does a red objective at 5% require as much time as a yellow at 25? So the fact that we're marginally off target, but it's super important, this may be the bigger issue. So. The KPIs need to be focused on where the strategy says is most important for this year. And as the strategy changes, different objectives are going to become more important and therefore other KPIs. So that's the first lesson. Now, and that stuff's pretty slam dunk easy. You should be able to just go off and, and find KPIs and formulas for those things. Now comes a tricky part, the other 11 issues that we've learned over the years. And what we'd like to do is spend a little bit of time in the following videos walking you through those other 11 things. What are they? Things like different stakeholders need different KPIs. We measure risk differently. Lead and lag measures and how they fit in the whole scheme of things. Issues about signal strength, how you score them, what an indicator is versus a measure. Anyways, stay tuned and we'll give you what we think we know about these other issues.